Maca's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Maka here with a 100% full game walkthrough for Gorogoa. This is a newly available game where you can grab a 1000 gamer score or a platinum trophy. As you can tell, the video is about 30 minutes long. However, it's likely that you'll have to take around 2-3 to three hours in order to complete this as there is a speedrun involved and it's very unlikely that you complete the speedrun on your first attempt. The good part about the speedrun itself though is that you are allowed to pause the game and that will pause your clock. So feel free to pause your game, play a minute of the video and then try to follow along and then pause your game again. You can go one or two minutes at a time through the game if you think that's going to help you do the speedrun faster. As long as the combination of all your segments, not including pause screens, is under 30 minutes, you'll be good to go. The video here, my speedrun, is about 23 minutes. If you think I'm going too fast for you, feel free to use the built-in slow-mo feature on YouTube desktop versions. Another thing is that there is a goal to complete the game in under 500 moves, which is also very strict. I would say that in my video, I show about 490 moves. So if you make one or two mistakes, that's really all you get, and you won't grab that either. There's also two missable achievements or trophies. One is for completing the rock puzzle on your first attempt. If you don't get it, don't worry about it. There is a chapter select, so you can quickly go back to that point. There's also an achievement or trophy for doing the wrong time on the clock tower. I'll have some text on screen when that does come up. If you're going for the dexterity achievement or trophy for doing the game in under 500 moves, it might be better if you actually skip this achievement or trophy as it adds additional moves you don't need to do. And then you can always go back and mop up after the game. One of the good things though is that as long as you follow through with the video at whatever pace is comfortable for you, you're basically guaranteed to get about 900 out of 1000 or 9 out of 11 trophies just for completing the game and then for doing some of the miscellaneous things which you can easily chapter select. Although the speedrun and the move related achievement and trophy can be quite difficult, you're still able to get the majority of the stuff out of the way in one playthrough. At this point, you should be ready to just load into the game. As soon as you load into the game, the game will begin. As soon as we start a new game, we'll get the flash of who made it. And then for controls, we click A to interact with things, B to zoom out, and then you can also drag with A. As soon as the game starts, click on the panel to start the small cutscene. As soon as we're able to, we want to press B to zoom out, which will start a small little cutscene again where the boy begins to think, and you'll be able to interact with his thought bubble once it reaches the end of its course. Interact with the thought bubble as soon as you're able to, and then zoom in on the bottom, and then zoom in on the bowl, and then zoom out in order for him to realize the bowl is what we'll need to focus on for the game. At this point, we can drag and drop, so drag from panel 1 to panel 2, and then zoom out of panel 2, traveling to the right. Then zoom in on the original panel, and you'll notice these two doors line up, so you'll want to drag from left to right for the boy to come out on top of the building. Zoom out on the outdoor panel, and then zoom in on the tree in order to spot the crow, and then drag the second panel down. Zoom out and then go into the painting to connect the two tree branches. Then zooming in on the bowl in order for the apple to drop. Chapter 2 begins right away. You want to zoom out of panel 1 and then zoom into the double towers. Then you want to zoom out of panel 2 and zoom out of panel 4. Waiting for the small cinematic to complete. At this point we drag panel 4 to panel 1. And allow the boy to go through then dragging panel one down to panel three allowing him to walk zooming in on panel three and then dragging it up for him to walk out and then dragging it back down for him to continue along his path once he reaches the path you want to click into the sign in order to follow his journey down the path At this point, you want to travel left on panel 3, then click into the diagram and then drag to panel 4. Zoom out of panel 4 and then drag panel 3 to panel 4, allowing the boy to walk through. Once he walks through, make sure you click in the door to follow him through and then click on the statue near the right hand side of panel 4 and then click into it again as soon as you're able to.
Once clicked in, you want to drag panel 4 to panel 3 and zoom out of panel 4 two times and then zoom into the kind of top of the screen where there is a bit of a fire. Once there, you just want to zoom in again and again and again until you are allowed to drag and drop panel 4 all the way to panel 1 where you'll find a green eyeball. At this point, you can drag the apple up to the eyeball in order to complete the second fruit. At the beginning of chapter 3, you want to zoom out of the bowl in panel 1 and move to the right in panel 2 and then zoom into the lantern. Back to panel 1, move to the right, and then you'll want to zoom out of panel 1 and go up in panel 4. Now you can shift the lantern down onto the star to light it up. Immediately zoom out of that panel and then go into the mirror above the dresser and then click forward as many times as you can. Eventually you'll be able to click into the bottom of this panel where there's a shelf with a lantern and a book. Back in the original panel after his light breaks, you'll also be able to zoom into the shelf near the top left of that panel. And then you'll need to connect the two shelves by having them go across the top of the screen. Now, after there's a little bit of shaking, we're going to have to disassemble the book. So go into the book, take off the cover, and replace the screw for the cloud, putting the cover back on. For the crayons, take off the cover, then replace them for the rock, and put the cover back on, zooming out in order to have the lantern move to the right-hand side. Now you want to zoom out of the cloud book and then align the lantern with the star in the window. And then the moth will fly over and you'll be able to interact with that, zooming into his wing as many times as possible. And then moving the panel from left to right. Zoom out of both panels as many times as you can. And then the guy with the book will begin to think. And you'll be able to click into his thought bubble to align the scenes. Once the scenes are aligned, click the arrow in order to pan to the left in the first panel. Go to the left on the first panel and then zoom in as many times as you can. Then zoom out on the right panel and you'll have two people thinking at the same time. Zooming in on the rocks in panel 2 will begin the falling rock puzzle and the rock will begin to fall. You'll want to zoom out in panel 1 and then align that panel underneath panel 2 and zoom in in order for the yellow banner to connect and the rock will go from one scene to the other. Now switch the scenes and in the bottom you'll want to zoom out and zoom in in order to align the new banners. Once the rock falls through here, you'll then need to switch the panels again, zoom in to the bottom panel and then zoom in on the blue and red banner to connect the banners again, allowing the rock to fall and then bounce and break open the moth. Doing this correctly on your first try will unlock the first try achievement or trophy. Next up, you want to start off in the top panel and zoom out and then travel to the right and zoom into the thought bubble and into the stars. Drag the stars across to the bottom left panel and then you'll be able to move the lantern over the star to attract the moth again. Once the moth is clickable, just zoom in on him as many times as possible and then drag from left to right, zooming out on the left, and then zooming out as many times as possible on the right-hand side. Once you reach the very end of the zoom outs here, you should be able to travel to the right, and the scenes will align. Click forward as soon as you're able to in the bottom left corner to continue. Once that happens, you also want to click forward in the bottom right panel, and then go into the tower with the yellow banner as many times as possible, and when the boy is done thinking, zoom out on him and zoom into the guy working at the desk. Inside the tower, zoom in on the apparatus in the top right as many times as possible until the dial is the only thing you can see, and when the guy is done thinking, you can drag his pane up to separate it. In the new panel, you can then zoom into the clock tower two times and separate that panel as well. Zoom out of the clock tower and then zoom into the compass and then drag the compass to the top left corner of the screen. Zoom out of the desk guy and then go to his kind of globe thing. At the top of the globe, there is a blue magnet, which you'll want to click, which will move the spike of the compass downward. Then zoom out of this globe two times and go to the right to find his fireplace. Zoom into the fireplace as many times as possible and then align the burning fireplace with the apparatus from the tower in order to heat the apparatus and cause the red needle to go all the way. Zoom into the red needle and align the needles and then put the clock tower face back on and zoom out. 
This will get you the wrong right achievement for having the wrong time on the clock. Now separate the clock again into its three components, and then you'll have to go back to the magnet, but use the magnet in such a way that the blue needle points diagonally down and to the right. And then you can assemble the clock again and zoom out two times and then focus on the star. On the globe apparatus, you'll want to then zoom into the small little light and align them for the moth to come to the light. Click into the moth as many times as you can, separate the scenes, zoom out of the new scene, zoom out of the globe apparatus as many times as possible, move to the left, go out of the window, and then move to the right to align the outdoor scenes, allowing the boy to walk through. Follow the boy to the left and then allow the cutscene to play out where the stars align with the tree and allow you to pick your third fruit. As soon as the boy picks the fruit off of the tree, you want to move right in that frame and then zoom out of the other frame to end up into the office. Then clicking on the person inside in order to start a small thought bubble as soon as you're able to separate those two panels. Now zoom out of panel one and you'll be shown a bunch of pictures. You'll want to zoom back into the photo you were in and click the sticky note in the top right to show two paintings at the same time. Now the man near the window will have a thought process. Eventually you'll be able to shift that and move it into the third panel. Shift the new panel into the bottom right corner and then zoom into that as many times as possible. And then you'll be able to align the doors in order to allow the boy to walk through. And then you'll have to shift them back in order for him to get into the next painting. Once that happens, you'll want to shift right in panel one in order to follow the boy into the next painting. Then in panel two, you'll want to zoom into the books and in panel three, you'll want to zoom into the middle object on the table as many times as possible and then shift up to find the guy with the bell. Then in panel two with the books, zoom into the bell as many times as possible, shifting it down to the bottom so that the bottom panels align. Now you'll have to zoom out of panel two twice and then zoom back in for the sun to align. When the man rings the bell, it'll turn the gear icon and you need to do this one time. When the white photo ends up on the left of that little icon, that's when you wanna click into it two times and then you can click into the painting in panel one. Those will align and the boy will walk across. Now zoom out of panel one two times and change to the painting near the bottom right corner and then align the two top panels for the boy to walk through and unalign them so that he can continue along his journey. Next, a lot of things kind of happen at the same time, but zoom out of panel four so you can see the books and zoom out of panel one so you can see the paintings. Use the sticky note to see both paintings at the same time. And then you'll want to go downward in panel three and shift back to the table to see the items on the table. Next, go to panel two and shift out until you can see a full purple ring. And then in panel three, click into the candle two times so you can see a tree and go down so you can see the man working on the wheelbarrow. Zoom into the wheel and align panel two with panel four for the wheel to turn the large purple ring. You will need to allow it to turn a total of three times so that the picture with the two red vertical stripes ends up near the bottom. As soon as the wheel stops with the picture at the bottom, you want to separate the wheel into its two components. And then what you want to do is zoom in on the bottom two or three times for the doors to align with the painting in panel one. Shift it over so the boy can walk across and then shift it back so he can continue on his journey. You can then also zoom out of the wheel and go back to the desk. and zoom out of panel two at least two times. Then you'll also want to pan left in panel one to follow the boy to the next painting. In panel four, make sure you have the blue book selected and out of the items on the table in panel three, make sure you click the leftmost item, which is a mountain, 
and pan right to show a man climbing up that mountain. Now what you'll need to do is zoom into the book and align the book with the dish so that the dish shows up in the middle of it. Then take the mountain walker and put that over the book with the dish and wait till he walks up and does one cycle of this spin. As soon as he's done, you want to separate it back into its three separate components. With everything separated, you want to zoom into the dish and select the top icon. Then zoom into the castle two or three times until you can no longer zoom in and zoom into the painting in panel one, switching the panel so the boy can walk across. Now in panel two, you'll want to zoom out back to the paintings on the wall and you'll want to select the bottom left painting with the man, zooming into the castle in the back right corner and then switching panel one and two so the boy can walk across and pick up the next fruit. After picking up the fruit, you'll want to pan left in panel 3 and back out to see the man sitting at the desk with the three objects. You'll also want to pan out of the bookshelf as many times as possible to see the man who's working nearby. In panel 2, also zoom out as many times as possible to see an old man thinking about a broken dish. Once all three people are on your screen, focus on panel 2 and then go to the left in order to find a door which will align with panel 1, allowing the boy to go to the train station. Once at the train station in panel 1, go to the right hand side so you can see what the boy is focusing on and focus on the train locations with the big board there, focusing on the purple tower and then separating and zooming out twice in panel 2 and once in panel 1. Now you want to zoom out on the person working at the desk and pan to the right in panel 3 to see the calendar. Focus on the calendar and go to the ring at the bottom, which will now align with the person in the window to create a coin. In panel 2, the boy should now be standing near a train where you can click into the little receptacle for coins and you can put the coin inside by sliding panel 4 up to panel 2. As the train is leaving, go to panel 1 and go as far to the left as you can and then zoom into the fountain so you have a green rail. Then back in panel 2, focus on the train route map and zoom in as much as you can, trying to zoom in on the green section. You'll have to shift this green section underneath the rail fountain so that the train goes around and through both panels and now the train will exit at the purple station which it wouldn't have done before. You can zoom out of both of the panels at this point and you have to wait for the train to arrive at the purple station. So in panel 1, feel free to return to that station so you can find the boy exiting the train once it arrives. Once he gets to the train station, he should automatically move to the left, and you'll have to follow him to the left two full times. Now in panel 2, what you have to do is zoom in to near the bottom middle. In panel 1, follow the boy back to where he is, and then switch these two panels to create a new scene between them. Now focus on the boy's thought bubble. Swipe away to create two scenes, back out of the original scene and change it for a finger pointing to the left, swiping back up and then exiting for the boy to move to the left. At this point in panel 2, zoom into the small door underneath the bushes. Now with the boy on the left, zoom into his thought bubble and swipe down, replacing the scissors for a finger pointing to the left, swiping back up and then backing out and switching panel 1 and 2 quickly so that he can walk across to the small door now. Zoom out of panel 1 and then follow the boy into the area by going through the top in the bushes. Then zoom into the bottom left where the red ladder is until you see the boy. Now in the second panel you'll want to zoom out and zoom back in near the red and yellow railings. Once the boy has completed his thought, Focus into his thought and separate the scenes, swiping down. Then take his new thought and pan to the right in order to reveal a sign where a woman is pointing up and then make that his new thought, zooming out so that he now wants to climb the red ladder. 
Once he climbs the red ladder, you have to follow him up and then align the red railroad to the bottom of the ladder so that he climbs down after you pan. Once he climbs back down, go to the top panel and go downward and then zoom out. And now you want to find the yellow ladder and switch the two scenes so that he continues climbing down the ladder. Once the boy has left the scene, you will want to zoom out one time and then go up to the top of the tower, zooming in on the boy once available. In the railroad map, you'll want to zoom out a total of three times. And once the boy forgets about the bowl with the fruit, you'll have to align them so that he remembers. At this point, he'll offer his bowl to the gods, but the gods will not accept it, and we'll have to reassemble the bowl based on our old memories. Once the boy falls all the way down, zoom out to now see the boy as an older person and go up the tower a total of three times once available. Once at the top of the tower, you'll be able to see a small cutscene and there will be a bowl in the top right which we will click into starting with the first fruit in the bottom left. Separate the two panels and zoom out of the original panel and then separate those into another three. Zooming out of the original panel then going through the door and panning to the left to find the boy reading a book. Once he's done reading the book a little bit you will see a red mark on the page and you'll want to zoom into that. Align the panels, zoom in, align the panels and back out going up to the next fruit. For the next fruit, separate the panels and zoom out of the original panel, separating the panels again. In the original panel, zoom in near the bottom left, then near the right, and then near the middle, and then near the top to find the tree. Align the two top panels, zoom in, and align the bottom panel to complete the second fruit, zooming out and going for the bottom middle one now. Again, for this one, separate the two and then go to the original and zoom out. Separate those into three now. And what you'll want to do is then zoom into the star on the original, back out of the man on the desk and go into his window, aligning the two outdoor scenes. And now the moth will fly up to the star. Once the moth flies up into the star and burns up, go back in the original scene to find the man thinking and align the yellow and then zoom in and align again. Zoom out to complete that fruit and go for the top one now. We start this one by separating and then zooming out of the original. Once we do that, separate again. And now what we want to do is zoom out of the original and then zoom into the yellow circle, separating that and then panning down in panel one to see a man walking, putting the sun shape back on him and then zooming out. This will cause the gears to spin. Once the gears spin, the blue circle near the top left will align near the top and you can align that with the man sitting at the desk. Once you align those two, you can zoom in again and then align the next one and then back out and start your last fruit. For this one, we zoom in, we separate, we zoom out of the original and then we separate again. Take the original panel and go to panel two, click into the little planetary system, take that and pan that to panel three, zoom into the pillow, Take that and pan it to panel two. You can now align the man's thought bubble with purple, zoom in and align, and then you can zoom out and complete the bowl. At this point, there's about a 30 to 40 second little cinematic or cutscene, and then the game will finish. 
If you did it in under 30 minutes, you'll also unlock that. If you did it in under 500 moves, you'll also unlock that. At this point, the only thing you'll have left is the old is new achievement slash trophy for completing the 2012 demo, which I will show at the end of this video. But essentially, after the game is done, you can go to the pause screen and there should be a new option to play that demo. And the demo is very similar to the original game. Now, the first half of the demo is essentially just chapter one and chapter two, I believe. And then the second half of the demo is like something completely new, pretty much. Um, I'm not going to be commenting through the entire thing. This one's pretty easy to follow. It only lasts about five or six minutes. And then once you complete the demo, you'll unlock the oldest new achievement slash trophy. And uh, yeah, all you'll have to do now at this point is maybe mop up the 500 moves and 30 minute speed run. And you should be good to go with your thousand in about two hours. For me personally, I had to beat the game three times. And then once I beat the game three times, everything started to make sense. And I basically memorized my way through the game. And I can get through the game now in about 22 minutes with under 500 moves basically every time. However, you know, it does require a little bit of memorization. And that's not something you can really do in one playthrough. So just kind of, you know, relax, take your time and complete things at your own pace. Uh, if you do the game enough times, you should memorize it, and you should be able to know where you can save moves based on what mistakes you've made previously. It's pretty important to, uh, you know, be a little stingy with your moves in the 500 moves playthrough. So hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, make sure you uh, like the video. It's really helpful. Share the video with a friend or on any of the social media you might use. Always appreciate it. Give me a follow on Twitter. A special thanks to the amazing people on Patreon who do support the show. And hopefully I see you guys next time. Peace.